So, and in the interpretation of it, I think one of the other places that just fascinating me is, is the things you're doing with AI, artificial intelligence. We did it. We do a sem seminar with 25 CIOs every year in, yeah. in, in the fall. Every one of them, when we said, "What's the next thing up?" AI. Everybody wants to be an artificial intelligence. What is? What are the services that you brought up? Because there've been some new announcements. Okay. Well, uh, I always want to make sure that people understand that AI is not the science fiction movie AI yeah. that we see. Yep. I think it is very much hardcore computer science. Yeah, whether that is machine learning service that we already had. For example, we can take data from the past to make predictions about the future. For example, I've sent these marketing emails to these 10,000 people. These people responded, what can I learn from that to make predictions about who should I actually be sending this, this to? That's a service we already have. But there's another side of, of sort of AI, it's called deep learning. And deep learning is really built networks on which you can do things like voice recognition, uh, image recognition, um, and, and sort of natural language processing. And we, we delivered three new services around there which I think, for example, recognition is one of them, which is an image recognition service, that if you run that through the service, it will tell of an image, um, there is a, there's a zebra in there, and there's a tree in there, and that's a picket part of a road, or this is a, a human with sunglasses on sitting behind the wheel of a, of, of a truck. Um, it will enable many more customers to actually start integrating these kind of services immediately from day one into the applications that they're building. So I think everybody has been excited about machine learning and deep learning for a while, but it's very low level. Uh, at that level, you almost need to be a sort of specialist in that area. By building these services on top of these deep learning frameworks, um, we're now able to deliver services that have unique value for, for developers that they can start to use from day one. Everybody can, in, can integrate voice into the applications that they're building. Everybody can have natural language understanding or do image recognition. Yeah, the important thing for, for many CIOs is, is not necessarily we need it today, but we need to get started. And I keep telling people, find a project, and when you see something like this, don't go crazy and don't wait for your user, to business users to tell you they need it. Make it and you do that as an approach, and you talk yeah, about but, that. But also, remember that this is a pay-as-you-go service, meaning that you want to try it out, Try it out. You know, you didn't have to sign a five-year contract or, or sign your life away to be able to use these services. They're available for everyone. And so, for us, it's really important to realize that customers want to experiment. They want to start. They want to get their hands dirty, even on these newer services. And they can do this overnight. Yeah. Um, and, and often, you know, the enterprises or smaller businesses, when, when they're coming uh, to AWS and have an existing infrastructure, they want to try and experiment. And so, I often give them the advice find something that if you are successful with it, with this project, it has a meaningful um, effect on your business. Yeah? And quite often, we see that that's in an area of analytics. Because I think most companies really want to create a deeper understanding about how they're op operating. You know, where, where are still particular inefficiencies? Or how are my customers actually talking about my product? Yeah? What are the kind of things that I can learn from those kind of data sources that maybe unique data sources for myself, or coming from the outside world, whether it's from social media, meteorology, all sorts of other data sources that you can integrate in there. So I've heard it from the CTO of Amazon, if you want to do something and you want to explore what's happening with the Canadian Amazon central region, this is the thing you do. Find something. We're no longer limited by technology, we're limited by our imaginations. Find a small project, find something that's going to have a major impact on your business, try it out. Mr. Vogels? And it will be very successful. A real pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You.